I've got a confession to make. Welcome back to the Auction Modeler. Um, so we are now on to issue 32 of Battleship Bismarck. Um, this week we get, as I said at the end of the last video, the next hull part and then a load of count on details and we get some photo etch as well with this one. The confession that I have to make is I've already jumped ahead by one step because the hull's now getting bigger, so this is the part that we've got, if you're looking straight forward down the hull, it's this part that we've got this week. Now, I've put together 17 pieces of metal on this, so I thought you guys would know what you're doing with screwing that in, so I thought there's not really much point in showing you um, that again. So, we can get straight on to all the nitty gritty and all the photo etch and all the bits that we get. So, I'll move the uh, camera down to the table and we'll get started with issue 32. So with issue 32, uh, we get obviously the upper starboard hull section, um, the connector and the PM screws to attach all that together. Um, we get two life rafts, so there's the port and the starboard life rafts, which are these two yellow pieces just here. So there's one there and one there. Uh, we also get a fan, which I think is that bit. Yeah, it is. So that's... A fan, apparently. Um, then we get accessories. Um, this one. So just a few little plant on details for the um, deck. And then the metal details. Now this, for those of you that don't know, is called Photo Etch. Now normally Photo Etch is um, like brass. It looks like a, like a brassy colour. Obviously this one they've pre-painted so that it looks all right on the hull and we don't have to do any painting to it. You can still um, weather this though, um, which I'll probably have a look at doing once all this is um, all this is built, uh, like I did with the um, gun, Anton. So, let's get started with what we need for this issue. So, we'll bring over the superstructure deck. So, this is obviously what we've been um, working on up to now. So you can see the bridge deck and the range finders, which with that um, Tamiya glue have stayed on quite nicely. Obviously, this is now at a week to set, so they're all settled up. Now, I'm not sure. Feels like it might be metal. Yeah, it is. Right, so this week, I know I've been using the um, Tamiya Extra Thin. I'm going to drop back to the super glue this week. Just because with photo etch you find it very very difficult to um, bin that one that was empty. Um, with photo etch you find it very very difficult because um, you have to use proper super glue. So there we go. That's better. Right. So move these instructions in a little bit so I can see them. Uh, take the front superstructure assembly along with the life raft, part 32-3, marked L on the back. So you've got one marked L and one marked R. So right next to that, I bet you can't see it on this camera. Right next to that, there you go, just a little bit there, you can kind of make it out. So that's the L. Um, and after test fitting, use a little super glue to fix in place on the port side of the bridge deck as shown. So what you're aiming for, the port side of the bridge deck, in that little slot, so you've got the bridge itself there, it's just that little slot just there that this will fit into. So test fit it, make sure it goes in all right. Yep, that's in. So if I get my tweezers, hmm. It's a very snug test fit, this one. There we go. I just need to use something just a little bit sharp to get in behind it. And then, like we've done before, I usually put it on the back of the part itself, on the peg, 
and then that's on properly. I'll put a little bit of glue surrounding it as well. There we go. Slips in there like that. So that's in. Then it's exactly the same on the other side. Come on. That's what it usually there we go, right, so that's in as well. So there we go, that's one life raft, another life raft, all done. Next is the fan which goes in these two holes here on the back. And the actual fan vents themselves, the kind of bits at the top. Try and get a bit of a better image for you there. There you go, that's better. Those little fan bits at the top go towards the top of the model. So, dab of glue. Dab of glue. And then that one is in like that, so that's all on and done. Now take the frame, so it's all these extra bits here, and the side cutters. So, carefully cut away the two hatches I1. Identify the recesses on the decking 29.4 and fix the hatches in place with a little super glue. So that's these two hatches, move this up, so that one there, and that one there. And these are the two flat hatch pieces there and there. That's one. That's two. Now I am still going to use super glue just for these, even though I know these are plastic parts. Um, there we go, that's one. Carpet monster had got that one then. Tip of the week get a pair of tweezers that line up. I'm going to get myself some new ones actually because you can see mine there. I mean, the, 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 the sat like that that's exaggerated obviously, but you can tell. And even if I try and straighten them off, they still want to ping that way. So, not ideal when you're. Um, when you're doing precision work. So, cut the control station I2 and engine communication console I3, and these get glued into the two holes, one there and one there. I'd say keep looking at the instructions for this, but what I'll do, uh, I'll cut I2, and I'll glue that in place first. So that one. I two goes. So I two, if you're looking at it that way, goes on this side. So if you're looking like with the range finders at the front nearest you, it's the side on your right. It's the hole on the right, sorry.
make that level. There we go. That's in. And then number three. Square on. There we go. And then there's three little um, indents on this piece. So you need to make sure those little, basically like dials, make sure they're facing towards you. That's that bit done. So that's those two, how close I can get. So you've got I3, I2, and then we've just got a couple more pieces that go that way around. So these are two like little um, ventilators and these go on these walls just here. So you've got your range finders there and it's just these walls just there. But these go on. This is kind of the reason why I wish that some of these part works, because I know the Millennium Falcon did it as well. I just wish that they'd um, make the issues a little bit more even, because some weeks you'll get like this, absolutely tons of parts, and you know, you like I'm doing a video for it. The video is going to be probably almost twenty minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. And then other weeks, you'll get a video that you know you struggle to make ten minutes out of because the parts that they've given you. Are just a couple of throw together pieces, you know, I just screw in a few, um, a few bits of the hole together. There we go. So that's all the that's all the plant on pieces done for this one. So now we have the photo etch. So Sprue a photo etch. So take the metal frame 327 and remove all of the parts. You can grip them in tweezers and twist them or use side cutters to snip them from the frame. Use a fine file to remove any rough edges. So let's have a look at these then. And that's how you can tell. Let me do that again. Just take my microphone off. Listen to this. I hope you can hear that. That should be better. That's how you know that it's photo etch. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all of the parts um, off for the first couple of bits which go around the, um, the lights there and there. Um, the four holes that are kind of... Let's see if I can show you. That's better. The four holes, two on top, two on the bottom hold these four pieces here, so along this strip. So if I just get my side cutters now, they're going to be too big. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Ah, what I'll do, I'll bend the metal. All that way, I should. Just take your time with this bit because this is going to be fiddly. Really, really, really fiddly. Here we go. There we go, that's one.
Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it here, and I'm going to get all these off, and then I'll start again. Good job I did that. Um, so, all the pieces are off the sprue, but it's taken me a good 10 minutes to cut them all off the sprue, just cutting them off. And I've got them all lined up just around here. They're all quite small, so you won't be able to see many of them. Easiest way I've found is use your knife to cut the very edge, like to score it a few times. And then if you've got a pair of uh, pliers, a pair of tweezers, sorry, small enough, get them into the gap and then slowly twist it out. These were a bit chunky. Um, so yeah, just take your time with that bit. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna glue these four pieces in first. Gonna get a little bit more super glue for this bit. So that's one. Now then, see how these go in, so... Where's that gone? There it is. So... I'll just glue these in. one so this is all pretty much the same as what you've done just with the normal plastic parts just a little 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 dab of glue on one hole and dab of super glue on the other one and Deeper angle there, that's fine. That's right. There we go. So that's those two on. Can't really see them all that clearly, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue all the other photo etch bits on. It's all the same. You just follow the instructions as they come up going through um, and I'll show you when I've done it. Right, so issue 32 uh, completed. As promised, I'm gonna quickly show you where all the photo etch goes. So on the actual um, port and starboard uh, lights, there's a piece of photo etch on either side of it. So you've got that one there and that one at the top and it's exactly the same on this one, one at the bottom, one at the top. You've got a ladder that sits right at the front there that runs all the way up to the top. Then on the starboard side, you've got another two ladders, um, one there and one there. And then you've got the piece that looks like a platform just there. That glow goes on as well. The other two pieces that we get in this issue for the photo etch don't get attached this week. So what I've done is some of my little containers and I've just put them in there with the um, Aredo plane um, ready for... Um, next time uh, or a future issue so that's all done for now um, now this this is this is my problem right all that that we've just had to do in this issue you know this video is going to be probably 20 ish minutes long like I said before and then next week a motor cable and a label that's all we get next week so this week we've had absolutely loads to do next week it's going to be like three minutes we're attaching a you know a, a cable but we might not be attaching it to anything i don't know um so far as i know we've not got anything built at the minute that needs anything attaching you know the only thing i can think of is we screw it into there ready for the um for one of the radar dishes coming and that's what i mean the it just seems like we get Loads of parts one week and then nothing the next. They could have very easily have spread this out just to make it a bit more um, 
manageable um, and just to make it feel like it's worth $8.99 a week. Um, this one did. This one felt very much like that. But next week, no. Um, issue 33 will be up next Thursday um, as normal at 8 o'clock. Um, remember to like, share and subscribe to the Yorkshire Modeler. Um, hopefully, I don't know what I said there. Hopefully, um, Aston Martin will be with us soon. I think we should get that by the 1st of October um, or around that sort of time. So only a few more days left to wait for that one and then that will be up as well. Um, but until next time, happy modelling everyone.